Hello, my name is Leah and my inquiry question is What effect is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch having on Pacific leatherback turtles and what environmentally sustainable practices can humans implement to prevent the Great Pacific Garbage Patch from growing? The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is an area spanning across the Pacific Ocean where the University of Maryland have found the endangered Pacific leatherback turtle inhabiting and migrating through each year. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is formed by spiralling currents within the ocean called gyres. Marine debris, mainly made up of plastic, becomes trapped within these gyres and as a result has created what are known as garbage patches. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch has the highest concentration of marine debris, making it the largest of the garbage patches. Sassini has estimated that the Great Pacific Garbage Patch contains approximately 23,100 tonnes of plastic. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration state that Pacific leatherback turtles' diets consist mostly of jellyfish, which may be mistaken for these plastic items. As a result of the Pacific leatherback turtles' diet and the Great Pacific Garbage Patch's geographic location, Pacific leatherback turtles may be at higher risk of endangerment caused by entanglement or ingestion of marine debris. In order to locate information relevant to the topic and research questions, this inquiry made use of a variety of research techniques. The research began by locating credible web pages and resources using the Google search engine. However, one aspect that proved problematic was the large amounts of information relating to this topic. Boolean structures proved useful to filter out any unnecessary information. Google also helped with the development of a searchable keyword list. Once a defined list of keywords had been established, the primary method for locating relevant and reliable resources such as journal articles began. This involved expanding the search using Google Scholar and activating the Curtin University Library Database to improve the search. During this investigation, I have discovered that Pacific leatherback turtles are at risk of entanglement or ingestion of marine debris. Entanglement inhibits normal movement, which can lead to exhaustion, malnutrition and ultimately causing death by predation or starvation. It is important to note here that harm caused by entanglement is not restricted to marine debris. Entanglement from active fisheries, known as bycatch, is also contributing to the decline in the Pacific leatherback turtle population. Therefore, more research focusing on bycatch is needed. Ingesting marine debris can perforate the walls of the gut, resulting in septicemia and ultimately death. Alternatively, marine debris can cause blockages within the gastrointestinal tract. It is apparent that entanglement and ingestion of marine debris causes harm and death to Pacific leatherback turtles. Therefore, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is not sustainable in protecting Pacific leatherback turtles from further endangerment. Due to 80% of marine debris originating from land-based sources, it is vital for the public to understand the implications marine debris has on the world's oceans. All countries should be adopting environmentally sustainable practices in order to reduce waste reaching the ocean. These practices include reducing, reusing and recycling. Through reducing the amount of trash an individual produces every day, choosing products appropriate for reuse and recycling products rather than turning them into waste, humans can decrease the amount of waste created. Education and global initiatives such as shoreline cleanups are also required to raise awareness. If the public is aware of the negative implications associated with marine debris, they become equipped to help prevent further damage. This inquiry will best suit Year Level 6. It will allow students to explore a range of questions to clarify the topic of inquiry. Students will also investigate and understand that the growth and survival of Pacific leatherback turtles is directly linked to the conditions of their environment.